Hey y'all, Steve here. Hey, have you upgraded to the new Apple operating system for your iPhone, iOS 8? Well, yesterday I did. Everything's working fine, uh, but uh, I did notice uh, a cool new feature on my iMovie app when I upgraded. I just wanted to show you in case you weren't aware or have not upgraded yet. So um, let's open up iMovie on the iPhone. So I'm going to tap it. We're going to open up. Now there is a particular project that I already have uh, completed. So I'm going to show you this cool new change in iMovie. I'm going to tap this existing project that I have, the Oak Island Sunset. Now, if, if, uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you, you may know that I have several tutorials about how to use iMovie on your iPhone. I use it all the time. I think it's probably my favorite iPhone app ever. I love it. But uh, I'll leave a link below to the playlist if you want to check out some of the other tutorials that I've posted. But let's take a look at this. I'm going to open up this project. I tapped on the project. Now here's a little bit about what I have here. All right, I've got some, um, I've got some still photos in there, and I've got some, some video in there. But let me show you what I really like about the new feature in iMovie from iOS 8. So there's a clip. There's me and my wife. We're on the docks. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna tap that clip. <clears throat> it's actually a photo. It, hi it highlights in yellow. Now down at the bottom, under the delete button, you'll see a, a little uh, three circle icon. Tap that. Now what comes up now at the bottom is you have an opportunity now to change the looks of that photo with a filter. It's much like the Instagram filters for your photos. So I can run through those and tap those different filters and I can control the way my individual clips, video clips, or photos look. I think this is so cool to give different looks to your videos, much like Instagram. Now, there's the vintage. That's what I actually used in this video. I like that, I like that a lot. All right, now you can also, what I really like is you can give the entire project the same look and it's very simple so I'm gonna tap away from that particular clip and down at the bottom right you see the little gear symbol let's tap that and now up at the top you see a project filter I can actually give the entire project a look that I want by simply tapping whichever filter so let's tap the black and white I'm going to tap done. Let's go back to my project. And now you see everything in there. Although the clips themselves, they're, they're maintaining the color. Look at the finished video at the top. You see how everything has changed to black and white? That is really, really cool. I love this new feature in iMovie app. So if you haven't experimented with iMovie on your iPhone, I highly recommend it. I do a lot of work from my phone. I publish a lot of videos that I've never go to my computer to work on. I do everything right here from my phone. So there you go. I just wanted to make you all aware of that. So this may be all the reason you need to go ahead and upgrade to iOS 8. Hey, I hope this was helpful. I'm Steve. I'll see you all in my next video.